singing. That's singing. Hallelujah. What we're going to, we're changing the order of the service a little bit because of the things that we have planned. And we're going to go ahead right now and pray for the sick. If you have a need in your body, would you just stand right where you are? And we're going to stretch our hands towards you. And I'm asking those of you in the audience, if there's someone standing by you, that you would stand with them and put your hand upon them. And those of you by television, by radio, by internet, whatever the part of your body that is ill this morning, if you would just put your hand on it and believe as we pray today that the bomb of Gilead, the great physician, is able to minister the grace of healing to you. Father, we come before you in the name of your son, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that with your stripes, we are healed. I'm asking that healing virtue would flow through Family Worship Center, flow through the television airwaves, flow through the radio airwaves, flow through the internet broadband to homes and to individuals wherever in the world that they may be. And Lord, we're asking that you would turn their test into a testimony by your glory, by your power, and by your grace. And this morning, we say it, by the name, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, be healed and be made whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Remain standing, everyone stand. We're going to ask the ushers to go ahead and bring our boxes and we're going to receive our tithe and offerings. The Lord has chosen the means of giving to further his work upon this earth. And he has also chosen the means of giving as the manner in which he blesses his people. And I don't know about you, but I want every single blessing that the Lord has my name on it. I don't want to miss out on one. And one thing from a, as a little boy that dad always taught me, and I'm so grateful, he taught me to pay my tithe. I can still remember the very first dime he ever gave me, a dime. And when he gave it to me, little fella, I still remember to this day, he said, now Donnie, one cent of that belongs to the Lord. One cent of that belongs to the Lord. And as I grew older, he began to stress more and more the importance of giving. And I thank God as I stand here today, I can say I've been a tither and a giver to the work of God. And so we need your help. Here at Family Worship Center, you media church members, don't forget us this month. We need your help as well. Father, we come before you in the name of your son, Jesus. What a joy and what a privilege it is to give to the work of the Lord. And Lord, receive our tithe, receive our offerings from a heart of love and gratitude for all the goodness that you have bestowed upon us. And we give you all the praise and glory. And everybody said, amen and amen. March around and drop in your gifts this morning.
tonight at 6 o'clock, Brother Torrance Nash from Columbus, Mississippi, will be preaching. He never has a sermon. He always has a word from God. And so you be here tonight at 6 o'clock. Torrance will bless you. We've got many that wanted to be here today but couldn't. But they were so gracious to send a very short video birthday greeting, and I want to share some of them with you right now. Let's begin, please. Hello, this is Don George, offering sincere congratulations to the Reverend Jimmy Swaggart on the occasion of his 80th birthday. Brother Swaggart, I have long admired the tenacity of your faith. As a young man, you said no to the world's invitation to fame and fortune. And you said yes to God's call to preach the gospel and exalt the name of Jesus Christ. You have passionately pursued your divinely appointed task of teaching and training the body of Christ about how to rightly divide the word of truth. You have relentlessly reached out to the world's teeming masses of hell-bound humanity who are in desperate need of the message of the cross. Whenever I or the churches I have pastored have needed a favor or a friend, you have always been there for us. So today, my wife Gwen and I say to you, Jimmy Swaggart, our dear and special friend, happy 80th birthday. Happy birthday, Jimmy Swaggart. When I think of you, several things come to mind. Your pure doctrinal preaching, your God-given musical talent, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for reaching the lost. You've been such a blessing to the kingdom of God. I count you as my friend and my brother in the Lord, and I wish you many more happy birthdays. God bless you. Hey, Jimmy. Wanted to wish you a happy, happy 80th birthday. I'm thankful for our friendship that goes back many years and just wanted to take this opportunity to say God bless you, we love you, and may God give you many, many more years to do all that he's asked you to do and you have been so faithful in obeying him. We love you dearly. We're thankful that God has given you a wonderful family, a wonderful church, and is allowing you to preach this glorious gospel around the world. God bless you, Jimmy. God give you many more years. Happy birthday, Jimmy. We love you, and God bless you. Pause for one second, because this next one, I mentioned uh, Jackie Gwynn, whose dad was Carl Alcorn. Her brother, Jerry Alcorn, who's a pastor in the greater Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, longtime friend of the family as well. And he was so gracious to send a video as well, Jerry Alcorn. Now, it's my firm belief that above all else, nothing more graciously enhances your life's legacy than the fact that your son Donnie, whom I've known since he was a little boy, and your grandson Gabriel are following in your footsteps. I can think of no more dramatic validation, nor, uh, nor a more honorable tribute to your life's legacy and work than that. So I say today to one of God's choice servants and my cherished friend, happy birthday, Jimmy Swagger. Hello, Brother Swaggart, and happy 80th birthday. The first time I ever heard you preach was on a 33 and a third long play album. We had the Ring of Fire and What Shall the End Be and some more. And it blessed our family so much. You came to Greensboro Coliseum and we attended that crusade. And then you came to Charlotte, North Carolina. And my dad loves to tell the story of how we got to the building and the line was so long. And somehow my sister Kay and I managed to get seats on the front row for the crusade. It was such a blessing to us. But sitting on that front row in Charlotte... As a young teenager, I had no idea that one day I would be able to sing from your platform. And I have to tell you, that was a dream beyond my imagination. It has been such a thrill. We love you. We love Francis, Donnie, Gabe. We love all of you. And we're so glad you hung around for 80 years, and we hope you hang around for at least 80 more. Happy, happy birthday, Brother Swaggart. We love you. Bye-bye. Jimmy, happy 80th birthday. Doing anything for 80 years is quite an accomplishment. Glow and I wrote this song many years ago, but we wanted to bless you today. I just feel like something good is about to happen. 
I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that he'd open all of heaven. And brother, this could be that very day. And I hope that's true for you. God bless you, my friend. All the way from Fort Worth, Texas to Pastor Swaggart at his 80th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Tonight at 8 o'clock is going to be a, a special program airing on SBN at 8 o'clock Central Standard Time that I'll know that you'll want to tune in as we celebrate Dad's birthday. All the music today is going to take us back through the years of Dad's musical ministry. And this morning, the choir and the singers are going to kick it off with I've never been this homesick before. And the table spread in splendor Oh, someone standing by Oh, that open door I can see a crystal river Oh, it must be near forever And I've never been this homesick
you ready? It doesn't matter what happens in Washington. It doesn't matter what happens comes the next election because Jesus Christ is about ready to set up shop and rule and reign as our King, our Lord, and our Savior. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. You know, when we were putting this service together and trying to come up with what songs to do there, you know, there's just too many songs that dad has been known for over the years. Let me just say this. I know I'm biased, but I'm right. It doesn't matter how old a song is or it doesn't matter how many times it's been recorded. When dad gets a hold of a song, and when he puts it, records it, and it comes out, it's like a brand new song. Because dad is not really what I would call a singer. He's a stylist. The Lord has given him a unique ability to speak to the hearts of people through music. And we were trying to come up with what would be the right songs and we really couldn't. There's just no way that we could include them all. But I want the singers to come right now. And we've put together a melody, a melody of songs that I think will sum everything up, the best songs, some of the best songs, the best songs that Dad has ever recorded. Family Worship Center, singers. Crosses stood Calvary's hill, it was crucifixion day. The time had come to pay sin's debt, and death was the only way.
Why don't you just slip up your hand?